All right, if you wanna know the top 10 reasons not to move to Menifee, California, watch this video and find out. Hey guys, hey again, my name is Justin Short with the Short Real Estate team here in California. Uh, we today wanted to create a video and talk to you about Menifee, California. So I'm here local in the Menifee, Murrieta, Temecula area. Uh, we try and keep these videos coming to you once per week, hopefully keeping you updated on the different towns, on the different cities, the real estate stats, and hopefully give you a good feel for what it would be like to live here if you already don't. So um, if you are liking the videos, please go ahead and hit like, please go ahead and hit subscribe. We're gonna keep them coming once per week and uh, you know, hopefully keep you updated and educate you just on, on the area overall. So um, if you do want to reach out to me, you're going to see my contact information below or in, and at the end, call, text, email. I'd love to hear from you. Um, had a lot of people reach out lately and you're happy to answer any questions we have or make recommendations or, you know, I've lived here over 20 years, so hopefully just give you some, uh, some good information. Um, but for now, let's get into the video. So we are going to talk about the 10 reasons that you would not want to move to Menifee, California. So um, Menifee is a growing area. It's been one of the California's fastest growing cities for like the last decades, the last 10 years now. They've done a lot of infrastructure improvements. It's grown a lot. There's been a ton of new communities that have gone in and the population has really grown a ton and they're building a lot more commercial and shopping centers, all that good stuff. Um, so a lot of growth, but it's not gonna be perfect for everybody. So um, I wanted to create this and hopefully give you some ideas about maybe why you wouldn't wanna come and live in Menifee. So uh, reason number one, so if you are are looking to live in a city with a large employer in town, Menifee probably is not the right city for you. So most people that live in Menifee do commute out, of, out for work to somewhere outside of town or they work from home. Right? But there is not like a large employer. There isn't like a, a big airline or a big manufacturer or this big massive employer that employs you know tens and tens of thousands of people in the city. That is just not what Menifee is about. That's definitely more of a suburb where in a, really a bedroom community where people live here and they will commute out to work and or work from home. Right, uh, so that is going to be the majority of the people that live live here locally. So if you're looking for that big employer, then Menifee's probably not going to be the right place. So the reason number two why you would not want to live in Menifee is if you're looking for a short commute to LA. So I, I know we've had a lot of people lately that have been online and kind of looking on, on and contacted us and watching some of our videos and really are want to work in LA or currently do work in LA or planning to move to LA and they're asking if Menifee would be a great location to live in to be able to commute out to work and I mean people do make that drive all the time yes a lot of people that do but if you're looking at for it to be a 20-30 minute drive to get to work and live in Menifee that's just not gonna be the right area so if you're looking for a short drive to LA Menifee is not the right area that's really probably more of a hour and a half to two and a half hour drive depending on what part of LA you're gonna be going to. So I would not recommend that if you're looking for a short drive. Reason number three that you would not wanna to move to Menifee is if you're looking for that short commute to San Diego. So we also have it the same way where people do live here and they commute out to San Diego. That's definitely a more common commute for people to make. But if you're looking for that short 20, 30 minute drive, uh, Menifee's really not gonna be the right area, right? You're really more of that hour to hour and a half long commute and you know, so. If, I would brace for that, prep for that, know that going in if you're going to be working in San Diego. Again, if you're not from the area, we've, we have a lot of people that they're just looking at price point, like, well, hey, Menifee is more desirable than San Diego. Yes, absolutely. That's why people live here. But it's that commute, it becomes longer. So if you're not working from home, you're going to make the commute from San Diego. No, it's not going to be a super, super short commute. Reason number four that you would not want to live in Menifee is if you don't like warm weather. So Menifee, it's, it's a hot city. I mean, we're really more of a desert type, type of climate, right? We're pretty flat. We don't get a lot of different seasons. Um, in summertime, you know, the average temperature is gonna be up in the high high 90s. We have heat waves in the, the low low hundreds, low, low to mid hundreds even on something super severe. So at the same time in winter, we don't have, we don't, we don't get snow, we're in Southern California, we don't get snow, we don't have a lot of cool weather, cool temperatures, we do cool down at night, yes, but if you do not like warm weather, I would not want to live in Menifee. Reason number five, why you would not want to live in Menifee, California, uh, 
And this is something when people live out of state and I've actually had people contact me and say, hey, we want to move to California. We want to live in a more liberal town, right? A more liberal area, you know, is Menifee going to be, uh, be a great fit? And truthfully, I mean, I do not care what your politics are. I don't care if you're red or blue or left or right. It doesn't make a difference to me and you shouldn't care what I think either. But if you want to live in a liberal town, Menifee is probably not the right area. So it is South Riverside County in general, and it's not my opinion. You're just looking at voting stats. You can post, they post them up online. You can take a look at them. But there is a more conservative, more red demographic that lives in Menifee than liberal. So a lot of people, when they're thinking about Southern California, they just assume it's, it's a it's a very very heavy blue state, and everyone in the state is liberal and heavy blue, and that that's just not the truth. It's what the voting stats show. It's just not true here here in Menifee. So uh, something for you guys to know. Reason number six why you would not want to live in Menifee is if you wanted to live in a town that had a lot of hills and a lot of different view lots because of the hills and the topography that different communities have, and you wanted that for your home and where you want to be, I would say Menifee's probably not the right area. So Menifee's actually pretty flat. There's really not a ton of hills, not a lot of rolling hills. It's more of a flat area. Um, you get you know some decent wind that comes through, yes, but if you're looking for those view lots, Menifee's probably not going to be the right place. Reason number seven, the reason that you don't want to live in Menifee is if you want to buy a home with four bedrooms under $400,000, Menifee's not going to be the right area. So um, I've actually had a handful of people reach out to me lately and thinking about what pricing was four or five years ago here in the town. The town's grown so much. In general, real estate pricing has gone up so much. But if you want to buy a home for $400,000 with four bedrooms, Menifee's probably not going to be the right area, right? I mean, we just did another market update stat where the average priced home in Menifee is really about $500,000 now. So if you want, if you need a four bedroom home under $400,000, Menifee's not going to be the right area. You're really more probably closer to that five hundred dollars or north range. Reason number eight why you would not want to live in Menifee, California is if you want to live right next to the beach. So again, a lot of people are relocating, they're not super familiar with the area, they just see Southern California, they see affordable pricing, they see Menifee, and they, they're going to click on it. And so if we are near the beach, yeah, we're in driving distance to the beach, yes, absolutely, but that's probably a good hour about an hour of hour commute from Menifee to the beach, maybe hour and 15 minutes, depending on what beach you're going to. So if you want to live 15, 20 minutes down, you need to get much closer to the coast. You need to get to Orange County. You need to get to San Diego County. The downside there, it's a lot bigger price point, right? So you're not gonna be able to buy any many homes out there for 500,000. That's probably gonna be in a nice area. So um, if you want to live right next to the beach, Menifee's not the right area. If you want to be in driving distance, absolutely. I mean, that's one of the reasons that we live here locally is you know we're, we're kind of driving distance to everything. So make a nice day trip, you can drive an hour and you're there. So no, no big deal, but uh, definitely not right down the street. Reason number nine to not live in Menifee is if you do not have a car, you probably don't want to live here. So th that town, it's just not a very walkable city. It's very, it's pretty large. It's pretty good size. There's a lot of really good shopping, a lot of different shopping centers. There's you know, more stuff that's going in. There's movie theaters going in. There's more shopping centers are going in. More homes are going in. So all that is really good stuff. Yes, but if you do not live. You do not have a car, having access to all those things can be super tough. So um, unless you live right next to the freeway and some of those major centers, I would really not recommend living in Menifee if you're just looking to be able to walk, walk somewhere. So um, again, we've had people reach out to us. They live in a big city, right? And they're used to just walking down to the grocery store or walking to the mall or walking to all these different places. Just the walkability isn't super great. It's definitely more, again, it's suburban. Uh, you know, it's you probably need that car to, to really get around town and be able to access all the different shopping and all the different parts of town. And reason number 10 why you would not want to live in Menifee, California is if you want to live right next to wine country. So um, here in South Riverside County, we have, there's a ton of wineries. So most of them, they're in the city of Temecula. There's over 50 wineries. It's a big destination. People come out here for they come out here for bachelorette parties, they come out here for get-togethers, and they rent the ballrooms, and they do all, all that type of stuff. I mean, the wineries are packed every single weekend, and so if you, if you like wine, if you want to check out wineries, it's a great place to check out. Um, however, if you are wanting to live in Menifee and be just minutes from the winery, 
probably not gonna be the right area, right? So you're probably more, it's probably a 20 minute drive, it's super doable, you can get an Uber real easy, super inexpensive uh, to be able to get out there and have a great time. There's a bunch of wine tours that you can check out, all that good stuff, but if you wanna live if you want to live right near the wineries, Menifee's not going to be the right place. If you want to be within driving distance to go out there on the weekends and have a great time, awesome. But just know it's not going to be minutes away. Um, it's going to be, you know, like I said, 20, 30 minutes or so, depending where exactly you're going. So um, hopefully that gives you guys some, some good info. I'm at 10 reasons why you would not want to live in Menifee. Um, if you have any questions or something you want to chat about or see if it's the right town for you or see if some of the surrounding areas would be a better fit, you can feel free to reach out. Uh, again, you see all my information below. Uh, please hit subscribe and uh, hope we talk to you guys soon. Thanks.